and tomorrow we're not out of the woods by no by no stretch of the imagination. I think the close tomorrow is going to be super duper important. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to an, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly update show. Hope everybody is doing well. Before we get started, uh, the boys have instructed me to let you guys know that there is uh, a special trial sale uh, ending tonight, right? Uh, believe me, when, when people talk about things going on with, with the company, I have no idea what's going on. That's why I have the whole crew uh, behind me and they said, hey, there's a sale coming. It's going to be ending tonight. So if you guys are uh, ever in the point of wanting to t know about pivots, the ranges and all that good stuff, uh, it ends tonight. Uh, and the most important part is that you get all the full access to everything that's going on in the whole uh, Access to Trader universe and blah, 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 blah. So if you want to take advantage, it ends tonight. Uh, it is pretty cool. They'll, they'll not going to be another one until probably Labor Day. So anyway, so let's talk about the markets, right? Most important part, let's talk about the tape and see what we got here. So yesterday, uh, yes, well, excuse me, Friday, we had a you know, pretty good bounce. Uh, and we talked about on the video, first close over the five-day moving average. Why was that important? Well, it's the first time we closed over the five-day moving average since all this crap over here. Every single time the market broke along those levels, it got back to the five-day moving average and got rejected. Yesterday, well, Friday was the first close. And if you watch the, the weekend update, it said, hey, look, th there's a shot, right? There's a shot we get uh, a day two here. And we talked about Apple, we talked about Microsoft, uh, a couple of other names uh, back to the upside. But the, the whole question was, and this is why today is a pretty Im Im important uh, update. Um, the whole question was, again, is this just a dead cat bounce? Or is this the start of a bottoming formation and we're gonna reclaim the 200 day moving average and all of this is gonna be uh, forgotten very, very quickly. And just like uh, any big prize fight, right? Let's say Ali was fighting Foreman, okay? There's gonna be a lot of trash talk. Ali's gonna turn to Foreman and say, yo, I'm gonna rip, you, rip your neck off. Foreman's gonna turn to him and goes, what, with those little chicken arms, I'm gonna beat the you know what out of you. And it's back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And here's where the back and forth stops. Eventually they have to fight. And now that we had this pretty good two day bounce and we reclaimed the five and the 10 day moving average, here is the line in the sand. And this is what we've been talking about now for several weeks since the market broke down. It's the 200 day moving average, it's right in front of us, okay? And that's the most important part. There's no more uh, conversational, uh, there's no more subjective opinions. Uh, nobody really cares right now if the bottom was right here or this is just a dead cat bounce that's gonna get rejected at the 200 moving average. It's gonna get rejected and go back lower. The, the, the time to talk is over. Tomorrow is uh, do or die, right? Sink or swim, whatever analogies you wanna use, it, it's all about what happens tomorrow on the close. And if, if you trade stocks and you've been trading stocks for a very long time, you know the difference, right? You can see and smell the difference between what a dead cat bounces and what a real rally begins. And we always talk about the real rallies always begin where, when bad news starts to get deflected, starts to get kind of embraced and thrown under the rug. Now, we have not received any bad news that got ne neglected, but I thought today's action based on Friday's close was a pretty good step forward. And tomorrow, we're not out of the woods by no, by no stretch of the imagination. I think the close tomorrow is gonna be super duper important, but at least today was a great first step, or actually second step into kind of the revival of what the bull looks like. And all the stocks that gotten completely murdered, and we've been talking about these names for weeks and weeks and weeks that lost 50% of the value, 30% of the value, 60% of the value, there were the stocks that had the big, big moves. If you look at you know names like NET, huge move, a name like Coin, right? Coin, huge move, uh, you know, a, a stock, for example, like UPST, these are big, big moves. And the question is, is it real, right? Is it real? It doesn't make a difference tonight if it's real because the scoreboard is the scoreboard and face value is always, or fair value, is always the, the, the four o'clock close, but now we are set up for tomorrow. And, and a lot of times 
you'll turn around and you can make a case and you can play devil's advocate of what happens next, right? Do we think the market's gonna go higher? Do we think the market's gonna go lower? There's no more talking, right? There's absolutely no more talking. Uh, every stock pretty much looks the same tonight. If you look at every single stock, they either closed above the five-day moving average today, they closed above the 10-day the moving average today, and they're all mirroring what's going on with the QQQs, and that's the most important part to understand. And a lot of times you're gonna turn around and say, well, the spies already reclaimed the 200-day moving average. Guys, keep this in mind. The spies were not the problem, okay? They were not the problem. If you look at the biggest issue areas of the market, it was the Russell, right? The Russell had a huge move lower. The QQQs had a huge move lower. So the spies, as, as impressive as they were to kind of reclaim the 200-day moving average, and you can make a case that, yeah, the spiders uh, for tomorrow are going to pull up the NASDAQ 100. And yet, if you're a perma bull, that's exactly what you want to see. But as we know in life, life's not fair, trading is not fair, and we don't usually don't get, or sometimes we don't get uh, what we want. So going into tomorrow, um, I think if you run through the NASDAQ 100, um, and you try to make a case what you like for tomorrow, I don't think you have to look far, okay? I, again, like I said, I think every stock uh, looks the same, okay? I think every single stock did a magnificent job today. It had huge, huge runs. And the most important part is, are we going to close above the 200-day moving average tomorrow, or are we going to get rejected off the 200-day moving average tomorrow and roll over and start this whole nonsense all the way back to the downside. Again, as we say, to be continued, right? To be continued, uh, to be determined. And uh, as if you guys watched uh, the old uh, Batman uh, Batman uh, movies or shows on, on Fox, or it was a Channel 5, whatever it was back then, well, no tomorrow, right? Same bad time, uh, same bad channel. So uh, I, I started a day uh, pretty late today. Um, I had to bring my daughter to a, a doctor's appointment just for a checkup and all that good stuff. Everything's good, most important thing. Uh, so it, I was very, very late with putting in traditional pivots, but the most important part is you don't need many, right? And, and that's what we've, we've realized for many, many years now. Because these stocks have such big average shoe ranges, it doesn't really make a difference how many names you trade. It's how many names uh, you trade properly. And we started seeing them going one by one uh, obviously, we talked about Apple, right? We talked about, I, I literally got home uh, at the open, so I was kind of all over the place in the morning. Uh, but we talked about Apple on, on, the, on, the, uh, on the weekend update show. Uh, again, when you have a cold stock, and this is kind of one of the, the higher probability plays, we, we talk about this all the time, but when you have a cold stock such as an Apple and it breaks, uh, it has a really, really strong day like it did on Friday, uh, one of the biggest, and people use the word gifts, but one of the biggest gifts that the market can give you is having a strong cold stock open up red. So we talked about the red to green trade, and we'll talk about uh, the pivot there in a second. But, you know, we started talking about one by one. There was only three active pivots today. Uh, again, you, could, you couldn't keep up with everything today. Uh, a super, super bounce today on uh, on Tesla, on the rising five-minute support. That was definitely the move uh, of the day. But slowly but surely, we started seeing everything exploding. And when everything explode, and today, by the way, was national no down day on pretty much every single stock. It was very, very tough if you didn't uh, get that opening range high literally at the open. It was very, very tough to kind of play catch up because everything was gone. And you, you almost felt like you were chasing uh, the price action of every single move. But the ones uh, that confirmed today did very, very well. So let's talk about this. So here was the watch list uh, overnight. Obviously, Disney did well, uh, NLW, uh, Microsoft had a run. Although Microsoft was kind of weak during the middle of the day, I uh, had a run to 312. Uh, Apple, we talked about red to green. It opened up red when red to green right away confirmed. But this was the big one. Uh, Netflix, 395, 396 needs to build. And this is where you kind of had a clue that maybe the rally was gonna be a little bit more aggressive. So here is the whole 395 channel right over here. And you can see pre-market what happened here, right? This whole 395 channel. And once it confirmed this whole 395 channel, this Netflix just went out of its mind, just completely, completely out of its mind. But obviously, as you see, when you're doing your research, it wasn't the only one. Everything went nuts, especially stocks uh, that really, really got beat up. So this thing went from 395, closed up the highs, uh, at 427s and you can see you're going to see a theme here when you do your research most of the stocks closed right at the 10-day moving average 
which is trailing the NASDAQ a little bit. But again, everything's playing catch up once the ETFs uh, stake their claim. So that was a really, really big move. Uh, obviously, uh, Tesla was a phenomenal, phenomenal bounce off that three, uh, excuse me, that three, uh, uh, 884 rising five minute support went absolutely nuts. Uh, Apple went crazy. They, they came for the 175 weeklies right away. Uh, 171 needs to build. I kind of thought 74, 75 was going to be uh, an area of interest today where it could potentially stop. So here was Apple again, took out Friday's highs. Beautiful chart here over the 50 day moving average. Here's a 60 minute view, right? This whole 71 area and just kind of grinded up the whole day and ha finally had this really, really big move into the 175 area uh, to end the day. So tomorrow for Apple, can, this is definitely the cleanest chart if the market continues to rally. Uh, again, like the same notes we talked about. On the weekend update, use any weakness uh, to buy this thing into rising 60 minute support or obviously a build uh, above today's uh, highs will uh, we'll do the trick uh, as well. Uh, DWAC, not a big move. Uh, 74 needs to build, you know, ran up about, you know, a dollar and a half or so. Uh, again, here is here's the DWAC range, uh, you know, traded about a buck and a half and then kind of sold off. Not really here. Uh, nor there. Uh, insane move on Netflix, 7650. Uh, so the most important part today, the, the pivots that were I was able to identify, because again, I came in late. Uh, usually I'm, I'm, you know, I have nights before research. Uh, I have the pivots going in and, and morning prep, but today I just didn't have time. I got, I got home literally. So uh, I did the best what I could and without having the ability for us to chase uh, any prices. So the stage is set for tomorrow. Uh, here we are, right? Here we are, guys. Uh, this is the big level. We need to close above uh, this 365, 367 level on the queues. There's no more talking. There's no more debating. Uh, there's no more guessing. That is the area. Sink or swim, do or die. Uh, obviously, we, we like a lot of names going into tomorrow. And, and again, do your research tonight. You'll see, like I said, plenty of names that look exactly the same. Um, I like Spotify for tomorrow. It looks interesting. Again, you see how everything stopped at the 10-day? Everything needs to confirm for the 10 day tomorrow. Spotify got upgraded today. If it could just clear out today's channel and the market continues to run, you could get a move to 204. Uh, Tesla, again, monster, monster move today. Uh, stop again, you can see right the green line at the 10 day moving average. You see the theme playing out here? Every stock needs to confirm that 10 and the Qs have to reclaim the 200 for us to rally again. If Tesla confirms the 10, there's another 20, 25 points of upside. Uh, NVIDIA, all morning today, they were coming for the 245, 250s. Again, you can see here, reclaim this whole supply, has a lot of room back to the upside. Those 250 call buyers, they wanna get paid, right? They wanna get paid, so we definitely wanna keep an eye on NVIDIA as well. Uh, tomorrow's highlight earnings are going to be uh, biggies, right? You're gonna have tomorrow uh, AMD, you're gonna have Google tomorrow, you're gonna have PayPal tomorrow, you have Starbucks tomorrow, uh, ExxonMobil, Gilead, General Motors, uh, and so forth, so on. So the table is set, the meal is prepared. The question is, is the food gonna taste good or are we gonna send it back? Guys, have a great night, God bless, and I'll see you all tomorrow.